Florian, welcome to uh, Zwift. Welcome to um, this uh, little interview about a very exciting project that you have coming up. Um, can you tell us, first of all, before uh, we go any further, tell us a little bit about your running history. How did you start running? Um, where have you come from? What's your background? Yes, um, I'm running already since uh, 23 years, so a long time. And um, yeah, in the beginning, I was a track runner. I did um, from 800 meters to 10,000 meters on a track and German championships. And I did cross country running. I, I participated in the uh, European championships in cross country, but that was already uh, 20 years ago or 20 three years ago and yeah I started just like every um, runner like on a track with faster stuff and then I started with uh, marathon road marathons and yeah it was not enough for me not long enough I really liked all the long training sessions so I decided I think it was in 2011 to um, start with my first ultra and then um, I really liked the ultras more than faster stuff <laughs> so, because that's that's interesting that even a marathon you didn't feel was was long enough for you how how old were you when you did your first marathon i think the first one was frankfurt frankfurt in um 2005 maybe uh yeah, I think 2005. That was. Were you, um, were you always fairly fast as a runner? Did you realize early that you were quite quick? Yeah, I was quick, but on a track, I was not the quickest one. Um, I mean, I won some medals in the German championships and I won some races on a track, but I always uh, knew that I am I am not the fastest from all the track runners so I decided to go for the longer distance because I recognized that um, they suit me so that I can run a fast pace for a very long time. What is it that uh, that, that you um, that fuels you when you when you run you can run a fast pace for a long time um, are you are you constantly eating gels are you what, what do you eat what do you feel with? Yeah, it depends on the distance. I mean, uh, um, if I do a marathon, I don't eat or drink that much, only when it's really hot. But um, yeah, on the really long distance, like a 100K, I would say I um, eat and drink like the same, like a marathon runner, just more. I use gels and isotonic drinks and water. So um, you are um, planning this uh, exciting event um, with Zwift. You're running on a treadmill. You're going to try and break the 100K world record. But obviously you, you run a lot outside. And in fact, I've seen a lot, a lot of your events are in fact um, Transvolcania you've done. Uh, you know, these are, these are mountain ultras outdoors, the fresh air, the mountains high up in the sky. What makes you want to do something? I'm, and I also know that you have broken the 50K tre uh, treadmill record previously. Um, yes. There's such a big difference between running a mountain ultra like Transvolcania and an UTMB and, and doing a treadmill 50K or 100K. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it's a good project in this time now uh, where we all have lockdown and Corona and this stuff, all the athletes have to search for, yeah, for their own challenges. And I want to keep fit. I want to be ready for races when hopefully um, Corona is over. And so I, um, I do something like this and maybe it's also interesting for other people that they stay motivated and, that they go on and stuff like that. And um, yeah, uh, I like both. I like running um, in the mountains with a lot of climbing stuff and really long distance. That's what I enjoy. And, uh, but for a fast pace, I like more um, running on a treadmill or running on a 
flat course. If you want to um, do really fast times, you need um, a flat a flat course or you need a treadmill where you can do a even pace. Do you also train on a treadmill regularly as well as outdoors? Yes, I do both. I uh, I live here in the mountains, but I like also like like to do the fast stuff. So um, at the moment we have uh, really um, nice but really cold weather, and I I don't really like uh, to run in minus ten degrees. Today it's minus ten outside. It's sunny, but it's wow. too cold. Well, it's too cold uh, too cold um, for a fast pace. So um, I um, use more the treadmill. For example, tomorrow I want to do a fifty k training run on a treadmill to prepare for the 100k and i like to do that indoors because you have your shades your border and everything by the side you know don't need to carry um, the stuff in your rucksack like in the ultra trails where you have to carry all the stuff and you can run in shorts and even it's better if it's so cold outside it's better to run inside for me because you can run faster and and um, important is also you stay healthier. I mean, when you run outside in the snow, you can slip and hurt your leg or whatever. And the risk is not so high on a treadmill. Lots of good reasons to, to run on a treadmill and lots of similar reasons to why I run on a treadmill as well. Um, have you, um, how much time have you spent on, on Zwift as a platform? Is it something you discovered? Is it something somebody told you about? What made you consider Zwift as a, as a possibility? Mm, I think I'm using Zwift not too long, since one or one and a half years. I started with cycling like everybody. Um, but then, um, yeah. I um, bought a, a pot for the running shoes, foot pot, and then I started a little bit with um, testing out uh, running on Swift. And um, yeah, now um, I want to do the 100K uh, world record. And um, I do this with HP Cosmos, that's a um, treadmill builder um, not far away from my home. And um, yeah, we want to do that together. And I'm using since I'm tra I can also train there on a treadmill. They have a good treadmill there. And um, since I train there, I use Zwift all the time. Do you find uh, Zwift as a, a, a good distraction? For, because obviously there are a lot of good reasons to run on a treadmill, but if you're staring at a blank wall or a window in a gym, it can get a bit boring. Uh, do you find um, that, that Zwift takes your mind off things? Do you look at what's going on on the screen? Yes, of course I uh, do. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm running since uh, 23 years and I also know a lot of triathletes and I know a lot of cyclists. And when I use Swift, it doesn't matter if I run or if I bike, I always meet a lot of people that I really know. And um, it's funny because you chat with them and, um, I mean, I can chat more when I bike, when I run a faster pace, you cannot chat. But um, yeah, it's funny to see all the people um, doing their workouts at home. And yeah, and then sometimes you speak a little bit. So tell me uh, a little bit more about the, uh, well, let's let's talk just very briefly about you, you went for the 50K. Uh, world record about was it this time last year yes in february last year yes and then how how uh, frustrating was it that because the record was then broken again about two or three times after you did it wasn't it yes i mean i was uh, was my plan to do it and then um when i um posted it on Facebook that I want to try to get the world record. Other runners saw it and um, I, uh, I received some um, texts from friends that other runners also want to do it. And then I was the first one who did it. And just two weeks after, I think a Swiss guy broke it just by one minute. He was one minute faster than me. 
And then I thought, okay, I can still do that. But then uh, it was broken again uh, by two Russian guys and two Americans. And then it was so fast or it's, it's now so fast that um, it's impossible for me to do the 50K again. So I go for the 100K. Uh, I mean, you, you can always say that you did hold the 50K treadmill world record for a period of time. And now, yeah, now you're going for the 100K uh, record. But don't tell anybody about it this time. <laughs> Yeah, no, we we wanna um, yeah, I wanna post it just a couple of days before, and yeah, but fifty uh, k my 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 old world record was two fifty seven, and just uh, three weeks ago, in tr tr while I was training, I ran six minutes faster than my old record. Wow! So, so. Uh, do you? I, I I know you must have, but can you tell us the kind of time you're looking for? I mean, are we are we talking about six hours? No, not six hours. But um, the the actual uh, world record hundred k on a treadmill is six thirty nine. Yeah. And um, yeah, I I trained for this and should not be a big problem um, but I mean 100k is a long time and if you don't have um, a good day you can also quit or something but I think I can go under 6.30 6.30 would be a, an, an amazing time to achieve for, for 100 kilometers can you give us, um, for those people who are not familiar with pace uh, can you give us some kind of um, idea of what kind of pace that is uh, you know, some comparisons to marathon times or something like that yeah i mean uh, it's um i want to go under 6 30 that's um 353 minutes per kilometer and that's around what's that um i think it's around 252 uh, 242 marathon yeah, so 242 marathon something like a, an 18 minute 1835k so if you can do an 18 minute 35k something like that then maybe you're looking at the same pace that flow is going to go for the 100k but just how many <laughs> 20 more times 20 times 5k <laughs> that's quick flow yeah yeah that's quick <laughs> how, how old are you? do you mind me asking how old you are i'm 39 Okay, so you've got a, a lot more years of ultra running left in you. What other uh, plans do you have? I mean, if you, you, you manage to get it, or even if you don't manage to get this 100K treadmill record, what other hopes and dreams do you have for the future of your ultra career? Yeah, I mean, I most of the people, they say I'm an ultra runner. I, I also, I, I, I am an ultra runner, right? But... I just started, so I see a big potential, um, and I'm still, yeah, for me, fast enough to go for a fast 10K, for example. Last year, I did, in training, I did a 30.09 minutes, so a PB for the 10K, and um, yeah, I want to try to get the speed um, for the long distance, and uh, my big targets are... Um, 100k uh, the world championships again maybe in 2022 so next year they talked about to do the um uh, the world championships 100k in berlin in germany yeah that would be a really big goal and um utmb ultra ultra trail du mont blanc is also a big target of course yes um so you, interesting that you 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 mentioned early then um, t 10k times and, and getting a fast 10k time is that is is it important uh, to get fast times over short distances to help you get fast times over long distances? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, if you see all the good guys like Jim Wormsley, like Kilian Johnny, like um, um, Tom Evans, um, all these really good guys uh, for the long distance for the ultras they they can run a 5k under 14 minutes 
So yeah. if you want to go for really, really fast 100K time on the road, for example, you need to run uh, a 10K in, in 30 minutes or even faster. So you need the speed also for the long distance. Yeah. So you're looking at, um, we have the 100K world record treadmill attempt. Uh, when What date is that? Um, 30th, 30th of um, January. 30th of January. Okay. Uh, and then in the future, we're looking at uh, UTMBs. Always, a, it's, you could argue it's the biggest ultra event in the world. Maybe we could put Western States in. Are you interested in Western States 100? Yes, I did it already, but... Oh, have you? I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't check that on my <laughs> list. <laughs> no problem. You can watch my, my film if you want. Oh, I will. You can you... find it on YouTube. Red Bull was there and filmed a little bit. And you can see me dying in the end, but oh, I finished. come about 30th or something? Yes, yeah. I think I have. I think I now it does ring, it does ring a bell with me. I think I have seen that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a look <laughs> at it again, though. It was a good, good experience for me. So, but yeah, I was way faster than I expect, uh, way slower than I expected. Yeah, my, my dream is to, to qualify. First, you need to qualify again. And if hopefully the pandemic or corona and stuff is over, I would try maybe to qualify again. And then, yeah, I mean, it should be possible for me to go around 16 hours, something like that. Yeah, and, uh, and UTMB in under 20? as well yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that'd be, that would be amazing that would be amazing florian it's uh it's been great to talk to you i wish you um all the best of luck with your um 100k treadmill world record attempt on january 30th on Zwift, live on Zwift. Uh, are you are you going to encourage people to run with you at all? Like if they can keep up with you for a few kilometers or are you trying to get yes, it sure. on the low? No, no, we, we want to encourage some people and hopefully there will be some with me. If anyone manages to keep up with Florian from the beginning to the end of his 100K, then you too will have the 100K. Yes. <laughs> Uh, good luck, <laughs> Florian. Thank you very much for joining me. And, Thank uh, you very much for your time. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.